Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI, and this is a patient who had posterior thigh pain and buttock pain, and they have a tear of their hamstring tendon origin. So this is a view where we can see the thigh, this is the medial thigh, lateral thigh, and if we go towards the posterior aspect into the hamstrings, we see that there is a tear. It's retracted about three centimeters or so. The tendon ends about right here, and it comes down, and it's recoiled upon itself and wiggly, and you can see edema or hemorrhage surrounding that. If we look over here towards the medial aspect, we see the muscle that it goes into. This is a medial muscle, and here's lateral muscles over here. So it's a medial muscle. We know it's got to be to the semimembranosus or the semitendinosus, and it looks like this is going to end up being the semimembranosus. So we're going to look at a sagittal view here, look at it from another angle. Here we can see the recoiled tendon. Here's the proximal portion. Here it's recoiled, coming down. And now we're going to look at the origin on the ischial tuberosity to make totally sure we got the right one. So here we go. This is the ischial tuberosity, and we see the hamstring tendons. They attach out here laterally and posteriorly. So the posterior attachment looks fine. It's just this lateral component that is torn. You see fluid at the site of tear. And this is the semimembranosis. The semimembranosis attaches over here. In the literature, or at least on the internet, I've noticed a lot of variability to, uh, in the attachments. But the semimembranosis does attach out here laterally. And then the semitendinosis is here in the biceps. And they cross over. So the, the most lateral one on the ischial tuberosity turns out to be the most medial one over on the leg and vice versa. The biceps, which it starts more medial and ends up going more laterally. So they do a reverse. So I'll show you a few images from online. And remember, this is the lateral aspect, is the semimembranosus. And here we go. This is uh, one of the several images I've seen that show just the opposite. It shows that the lateral side biceps here comes off the lateral aspect and comes across. But really, it's the reverse over here. Here's another, another one with the uh, same anatomy. It shows the medial ones coming off medial and the lateral ones coming off here, or the lateral one coming off here lateral. And another one, the same biceps out here, lateral attachment. Here's another confusing picture here. Shows the biceps out here, again, with a more lateral attachment. Can't really see the semimembranosus, but it comes underneath and attaches even more far lateral than the picture would show. Here's a site that shows the origin arises from the upper medial part of the ischial tuberosity, and it shows the image there. And then finally, this is a diagram that looks like it has it correct. So here we have the biceps, semitendinosus. Together, they blend into a conjoined tendon here that attaches more medial. And you have the semimembranosus tendon here that comes in deep and attaches on the outer side. So interesting that how, uh, how hard it is to figure out where that thing attaches. But we have an example here where we can see clearly it is the outside. The others look like they're blended together just like in this diagram where there's a conjoined tendon. And thank you very much.